Hi, welcome to our channel. I'm Victoria. I'm Danielle. So this is our first video. And we just finally decided that we wanted to get up and actually start doing YouTube. Now here we are trying to do videos, mm -hmm. trying to fulfill what we want to do yeah. with our lives. And we're not just going to have makeup tutorials. We're going to have like Q&As, reviews. We're yeah, like DIYs for sure. We're not big, beauty gurus yeah, or anything. Like, you know, we're, we're just, not like professional makeup yeah. artists. This is what we love to do. If you want to see these looks, stay tuned. Okay, so I'm already use. moisturized. I'm going to use this Pond's Dry Skin Cream because a bitch's face is dry. So I'm just going to start off um, concealing my blemishes with this Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer. That was I don't know really if you can see that, but um, yeah. But I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me in shade 20 Sand, I guess. Yeah, right? Oh, that one. Shit. And I'm going to use that to just like conceal some of my blemishes. <laughs> Bitches are imperfect and it's okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm using the, is it NYX or NYX? The NYX HD Studio Photogenic Green Color Corrector. I'm just going to go over my red spots. So I like usually use um, like just drugstore stuff like Me Maybelline too. or like L'Oreal, like the Pro Glow. But I got the Estee Lauder Double Wear. And this, really this stuff, it says it stays in place. It stays in place, like, and I love it. But it comes out to a matte finish. And then, as you can see, this stuff is kind of liquidy, but I'm just gonna start, like, dabbing it on my face. But this stuff, like, whenever I, like, get finished with it, like, cause I use the excess that I don't put on my face, like, I use it to go over any spots that I need mm -hmm. more coverage in. Well, I'm gonna use the Fit Me matte and poreless normal to oily skin in shade who knows what this shade is <laughs> in shade 120 classic ivory and then i'm also gonna use the l'oreal infallible pro matte oh yes and this is shade 103 natural buff i use a lot of foundation people tell me i use like a I bunch use of, a shitload of foundation I... too but but i mean whatever they always say you always want to blend down the, down your neck because for real that's not cute if you have a line it's not cute and this shade actually might look dark on me but that's okay if I say go a shade darker than your skin tone and then I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me bro your your foundation looks lighter than mine really I think so I mean and then I'm gonna take my sister's Urban Decay Naked Skin in shade. Fair neutral? Oh, you bad. Just because that concealer is like the color of my skin. <gasps> so okay. I'm going in with my concealer again to conceal it under my eyes. Okay, a lot. Same concealer. And I put concealer over my eyelids. Like, Me too. Just as like a primer, I guess. I am going to go in with my Cody Airspun in Translucent Extra Coverage. Just to set underneath my eyes, I don't set the rest of my face with it just because I feel like it gets really cakey. And then I'm going in with my Rimmel London Stay Matte in shade 003 Natural. It's just a just a matte powder. And I'm going to go in with her Airspun to conceal my Bless eyes because I've been meaning to get some. Bless you. And then I like to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, light to medium, and it's real beat up, but what are you going to do? I go in with the banana shade with my little e.l.f. brush that I've had for like forever, and that's what I use underneath my eyes. Well, usually I need to actually like wipe the airspun off. These are real techniques. Oh, yeah. They're really good. Um, I don't know which ones they are, but most of my brushes are real, real techniques. That, those are some nice ass brushes. Like if you're looking for some like drugstore products, like, yes, those are really good brushes. Like so I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D shade. Oh no, I don't know what is it. Shade and light contour palette okay. in the color. Oh, subconscious. Subconscious is the one with the gray on the top. I think. Yeah. yeah, subconscious. Okay, that's what it looks like. I don't even know the shade of this anymore. Yeah, it doesn't tell but you. But I'm going in with this shade. As you can see, it's really beat up. But I use this just with my Real Techniques 
powder brush that I use to set my face. Mm -hmm. And I just like swirl it around a little bit and I just like bronze my face. This is actually a BH cosmetic brush. I really like it. It's my contour brush. And I just pat my um, product and then I just... Yeah, like I kind of like swirl it and then I'll pat it. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, you see, I should probably start doing my makeup like her because... I like... <laughs> I like contour, like I like to she bronze does it, it subtle. I like to bronze my face, and then I like to contour it after. What? I would bronze after. Really? Yeah. This brand is called Alouette, but it's like, main like mainly like, face product. I use it for contour, and then like, I'll take this like the middle shade in here that's kind of gray because you know Victoria told me I need to step up my little contour game. These two shadows to to my right, which would be like y'all's left. I'm taking those two together, like I mix them together. Oh yeah, I put okay. Them, I kind of tap it off a little bit. Okay, so then I'm gonna go with my BH Cosmetic um, brush again. It's actually 122, yeah. So this brush is 122, and I'm gonna use that to contour my nose. I hate like. having a fat nose. So what I do with my contour, I like pat it right here in the middle, and then I kind of like make a V type U-ish. Cause it's like really fat and wide here okay so i'm gonna go in with this middle shade it's called shadow play on my cat von d that. contour palette just to like darken up my contour a little bit because she said i was lacking so i'm gonna go in under my eyes just like blend this contour out with it a little bit to conceal with um the color levitation yeah. And Lyric. I'm gonna like put those together. And then I just take my brush again, blend Please. it out. The Laura Geller Gilded Honey. This is by far my favorite. And I'm just gonna go in with the It Cosmetics fan brush. Mm -hmm. And I just like press it in here like this. I'm kind of aggressive with it, but then I just. I'm actually gonna go in with that middle shade of my Kat Von D palette, Lyric, and go under my contour just to like. Sharpen it I up. forgot to do that. I'll do that after this. So, <laughs> so our camera died. Yeah, and um, we were in the middle of doing our brows. So um, we're just gonna tell you the products we use. I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in dark brown to start my eyebrows. And I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Dip Pomade in ebony to finish my brows. I actually start my brows here. I don't start at the beginning. I start like a little towards kind of the beginning, but not. And then I make my line down here and follow. And then I go to the top and I like fill that in. And then I use this little Eco Tools brush. Like it has like like older concealer on it. I just take my Maybelline Fit Me concealer and I use it to clean up my eyebrows. So we had a little technical problems again. Yeah, we're having technical problems as well. But this is our first video. So I think we're doing pretty good. Basically, we just finished our eyebrows, cleaned them up. Not really. I didn't clean this well. up. So we're going to start on our eyes. I'm going to use the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. I'm going to use the Morphe 3350M palette. Yeah, I'm going to take the first two colors right here and I mix them and just put them. And mine's matte M4. Everywhere. That's the color I'm using as my base. <laughs> I usually go in with like these two colors. It's like the it's like the second row of the orange color over here. And then I take this color and I'll just mix these two and then I just mix these two. I don't know. I just do whatever I feel like. I want basically as you can see it's pretty orange and these I love a burnt orange honestly like, honest, the morphe shadows are so pigmented I'm just gonna use this brush it's from my BH cosmetics it's 121 so I'm gonna take this like grayish undertone color I don't know I think it's M2 I'm just gonna keep taking like these browns until like cuz I don't really I try not to do that much orange I'll probably just add like this red down at the bottom. I'll probably just mix, I'll probably do this with like probably this dark brown color over here. Just to see like if it'll make it like a darker color because this red is like red. I try to keep like the darker colors more on the outer V. But I like your color, it's popping. Really? So yeah, I totally wanted to do a color, but I didn't bring my palette. I'm gonna take um, my Milani eye palette and I'm gonna use like the dark shade um it's called crease crease for the crease I mean at least they're letting you know and I'm just gonna take those same colors back underneath my eyes 
like the first two colors I use, like the orange and the brown. I feel like it gives it more definition. So I'm going in under my brow and using the shimmer. I think it's S5. Yeah, S5. It's a shimmery color. It's this one right here. I don't know if you can see that. Oh. Right here. Girl, I shall and I'm going bitch. right under... <laughs> right under my brow. I'm gonna go in with my NYX matte liquid liner. I used to use this one by um, Rimmel London, but then like I just didn't like I felt like it wasn't matte enough for me. But this like the matte liner by NYX is amazing. I'm gonna put like this dark shade that I used on my eyes from the Milani kit, the shade, and I'm gonna do that under my eyes. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Eye Studio in Black is Black. And then I'm going to take my, what is this, my L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar Liquid Liner. And I like this felt tip. And what I do is actually stick my felt tip in my gel liner. So um, we didn't finish because we we're really having technical difficulties. Yeah. So we didn't really finish our looks. So basically we finished our eyes and our lips. Yeah, I just did eyeliner. I put, I used the Kiss Lashes. They're new ones. They're like fake mink ones, basically. And they're in the um, style gala. And then I just put mascara on my bottom lashes. And then I used the Too Faced Melted Lipstick. It's the chocolate one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's kind of light, I guess. But it's like gloss and lipstick at the same time. And I, I don't know what lashes I use. They're like generic brand. Um, I just picked them up from like a CVS. Then I use for my lips the Milani. It's a lip liner. It's called Spice number 09 well thank you guys for joining us for our first makeup tutorial i'm sorry that we struggled a little bit but we'll get on top of it don't worry please stay tuned for more videos and subscribe and like please does it look okay yeah y'all can edit that shit what the fuck sorry it's my baby daddy because i'm gonna start tanning it's gonna be okay sorry. you gonna conskill <laughs> I can't use liner like that. I can't use gel. I really just... <laughs>